Praise didn't know this was going to happen. But why I'm asking praise to come down because we want to praise you, quite frankly. Right. <laughs> you represent these students right now as far as uh, who you are and why you're here. So if you don't mind, why don't you just tell us a couple of things about yourself? I know you're 15 years old. And where do you go to school? Bronx Academy of Health Careers and Advantage Shaw Campus. And why are you here? I'm here because I'm very interested in the science fields. I'm actually interested in being a medical doctor. So I want to help people that have diseases, injuries. Mostly, I'm interested in, tra in being a trauma surgeon, but like helping people, like either they got shot, blown up, or something in the war. So you want to help them rehabilitate themselves and live their normal life. And when did you first develop this interest? When I, like when I was 12 years old, I was when I started, because my mom is a nurse, so she kind of influenced us with her health, with her health idea, so I actually became interested in that. And one of the things that you want to do is make sure that you give back. You want to come back to New York City or wherever your job would take you to do what your goal is. Yes, sir. Awesome. You want to come back to New York City? Yes, a fly trade. And why ask praise the public? He didn't know this. I mean, I just gave you a lot of props because I think I told him before the microphone. So, let's talk about stuff because I think it's important for us as adults to showcase students like praise and all of you because we have to do a better job in showcasing those students who are just regular students, students from our school system across New York City who believe in the value of education and make sure that we support them, we protect them, and we advocate their cause as well. And one of the things that today is about is making sure that we provide praise to all of you with mentors and the foundation to do exactly what he just talked about, uh, to apply to become uh, doctors, to understand the value of science, to understand the value of math, and make sure that you always give back because the United States, if we cannot say this enough, the United States is falling behind the rest of the world when it comes to the applied sciences and medicine. And we've lost our preeminence in the old mastery of man and technology. And people like Praise and others who are here today will allow us to reestablish uh, the preeminence in the world. I mean, just imagine what Praise said. You don't mind if I still talk about it, please. <laughs> just imagine what Praise said. He said, people who were blown up. Shot. Imagine out here, some of you, some of you may be able to do this, one of you may be able to do it, all of you may be able to do it, develop the cure to AIDS, uh, be able to solve disease. Something as simple, and for me it's mind-boggling why we haven't been able to solve uh, the common cold. I mean, that's within all of you. This is what is being provided to all of you as far as the foundation uh, in your working with the Harlem Children's Society. And that's why we have talk about you on a regular basis and talk about you in a very positive way. Now, the Department of Education, uh, Miriam indicated she was a teacher there for 10 years. We're trying to work with uh, Dr. Sat and others around the room to make sure that we reinvest in the sciences by putting more money in. Uh, the mayor and chancellor's put in $60 million in making sure that we talk about sciences. Yesterday we had an announcement with General Electric where they're going to be looking for people who work for them because they're very interested in who the new graduates will be in the area of sciences and technology and making sure that for individuals who may have an interest in engineering or the applied sciences, companies like GE have donated money to the Department of Education to make sure that we are improving the outcome of having students work for them. Uh, in addition to that, one of the things that we think is extremely important that there's a linkage with mentors. Now again, show me by the number of hands, how many students have been here for a number of years already? To me, that is a great group. Dr. Sack talked about uh, this is a family. Well, Praise is a new family member. Uh, he is a new person coming into the system. And I think all of you who have been here for a while will now be the elders, the siblings, the uncles and the aunts uh, to Praise and all the new inductees that are here today, and that's why this ceremony is so important, because praise and all the first-year uh, students who are here 
need the mentors who are still in school, whether they're still in high school or in college, or those who have now moved on uh, for their PhDs and their MDs. And the final thing I wanted to say is that it's not just about New York City, uh, it's about the rest of the world. And while they may not all be up on the screen at this particular point, I think the linkage with the other countries throughout the world is extremely important. If you really have an opportunity to take a step back and think about how you're not just linking with people here, but you're linking with brains across the sea and applying your energy level, your intellectual capital, and making sure that you're well prepared. Because the world I grew up in, you heard I'm a grandfather, so you know I'm an old guy. So the world I grew up in is a totally different world than all of you are growing in, growing, in, uh, growing up in. It's an international world. It's a world that we can no longer operate in isolation of the United States. It's a world where we're working with Africa, New Zealand, I heard, uh, with Canada, uh, with the Native Americans from across the country and across the world, uh, from people from all parts of this world. We're going to become an international uh, world. And as a result of that, Harlem Children's Society is providing you that opportunity. So I just want to say congratulations to the Harlem Children's Society. praise and to all of you who are here because we are big believers in you and we want to make sure we talk about you. We want to make sure that we protect you. We want to make sure that you are the ones that hopefully the press and others will showcase because you're just regular folks who want to do well. You're regular folks as far as making sure that you want to become the doctors and the scientists of the world and we have to make sure we fulfill our responsibility in life and making sure that we guide you Again, thank you for having the heart to come up here and really do it. Really thank you for all of you. Uh, we are being And one of the things in the office I want to make to Dr. Sat is that if time will allow, we want all of you to come down to City Hall uh, to see City Hall in action. So I'm a big believer in civic engagement, civic responsibility. And I think one of the unique things uh, as a result of his leadership is the linkage with City Hall and making sure that all of you are exposed the varying opportunities that are there, whether it's through our health department or the Health and Hospitals Corporation or other venues that are available to all of you to take advantage of when you graduate from high school, when you graduate from college, or really have internships as you move through high school and college so that way you can apply your skills and become successful. So thank you very much and have a good day.